Good morning, everybody. It's Easter Sunday. We're gonna check on these bees out here in the front yard. Uh, they've been looking pretty busy recently. We got the palmetto starting to open up and it should it should be on here in the next week or so. Uh, we're gonna check them if they need some space. We're gonna give them these medium boxes. These will be our honey. These are called honey supers. That's what's gonna collect the honey. Um, I'm not gonna put any queen excluders in them just yet because they're just mostly foundation wax foundation uh, once they get up in there working them them combs drawing them out uh, I'll shake all the bees down into the bottom box put a queen excluder in there and then let them come up and start filling everything with honey so uh, let's let's get into them and see what we got All right. All right, let's look at them. They're gonna be kind of grumpy probably. It's a little cool out this morning. Um, they're not flying yet. So we'll go ahead and give them a little bit of smoke. Calm their nerves a little bit. Set that off. To the side. Okay. Yeah, they got a good population of bees going. <clears throat> no queen on that lid. Let's see here. Got some nice fresh white wax. That means they're they're into something. Something a little more than the syrup I gave them. Let's see what we got. Be real gentle not to roll your bees up when you're pulling these frames out. Oh yeah. That's some honey they're bringing in. So they've got this here they're working on. They're starting to work on the back. They're drawing out a little comb right here. They got one more frame in there. So, I mean, it's, it's eight and a half, nine frames of bees. It's good to go ahead and add a super at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and shake these off and let y'all see, see if y'all can see this honey a little bit. All that in there is honey, all that nice golden color. Anyway, like I said, let me see. I think this is a medium frame right here. I'm gonna pull it out and put it in the put it in this other box here that'll get the bees right up into my honey super and get them working in it but if they got comb hanging off the bottom of it it might be a different story let's just see see what we got okay that is not a medium frame it's a deep seen no queen cells or nothing not on that one anyway I thought I had a medium in here I guess not um, what I'll do is I'll tip the whole box forward and look from the bottom and see if I can see a medium frame instead of pulling them all out no no mediums in this one I was wrong Oh well, tip the box up like this. You'll see it with me. You can check from the bottom and uh, look for queen cells. Give them a little smoke, run them up a little bit. We can check these bottom frames. When they got swarm cells, 
these bees aren't in i mean typically i wouldn't suspect these bees are wanting to swarm but uh usually your swarm cells will be hanging off your bottoms of your frames in there you, you can look up in there and you can even count how many frames of brood you have i mean i'm seeing brood 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 they're full of brood so it's a good way just to do a quick check if you don't want to pull all your frames out so seen a queen cup got me scared there for a second all right put it back down on my pallet clips uh, and they'll get up in that top box i mean if you don't got some drawing comb to put up there it ain't the end of the world they'll be fine They'll, they're working this way. They got, uh, like I said, they, they pretty much got this one side of this one drawn out. They're working on this one. They got one more here to go. We'll, we'll head them off and go ahead and give them a box. Ideally, it'd be nice to have uh, drawn combs in here instead of foundations. That way they could go right to store nectar in it making your honey. But I'm out of drawn comb at the moment. Trying to get them off of that rim so I don't smush them all up. <laughs> there it is. Easy as that. Try to space these out some. This is an old box. It's starting to spread at the top. The frames are sinking down in it. But it still works. It's just a little more pain to deal with. Who knows, this box is probably older than I am. All right, well, it's on there. They'll work up in there and they'll start storing the nectar in there. We'll give them a, you know, we'll give them some time and um, we'll check on them again. check on this other box over here back the camera up some see what they're doing a little bit of smoke in there They don't look as packed as the other box. So they might need a little more time. Let me check that again. Let me just shake these off. A little bit of nectar, pollen in there. You can see the glistening in the cells. Here's a sheet of foundation that I've kind of checkerboarded in there, it looks like. Plastic frame, look at this old frame. It's, it needs to be called out. There's your medium frame we were looking for. It's got somebody before my time has fixed this thing it's broke the plastic frame so they put in these little frame savers on there i got a bunch of free stuff from a buddy in wachula this is some of that stuff that come with it it was pretty old hey it works yeah it's just full of nectar full of it So 
some more nectar. This here looks like it wants to be brewed. Let's see. Nope. Back filling with nectar. Brood. Plenty of brood. There's a brood frame. Let's see this one. There's a frame of brood. There's the queen. See right there on the bottom, about to fall off in the daggum grass. Like I said, I want to keep this channel honest. I knew that queen fell off that frame like an idiot. But here's that queen. Now she's on the lid. Thank the Lord she fell on that lid. My God. That could have been bad. Let's let her back down in this box and quit fooling around. Let's give her a bump down in there. Ah. We want to show you all these queens, and I take them over from uh, take them from on top of this box. I told, I said in one of my videos that you got to be careful. You don't want to drop that queen off. I about messed up there. Hey, we got lucky. I'm gonna show y'all it all. I ain't gonna clip nothing out. If I mess up, then I mess up. Y'all gonna see it. Got to be careful. What a dope. Anyway. This is an old, well this isn't an old Apivar strip. It's uh, like a, a mite treatment. Gotta keep the mites off of your bees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this uh, I pulled me a sheet. Let me see if y'all can see it. Yeah. I pulled a sheet of foundation out of here. I'm going to take this drawing frame and put it right dab in the middle. Take that. When we extract this frame, we're going to throw it away. I mean, that thing's brittle and it's about... It's about had all the life gonna be pulled out of it as it can. So when I pull this box of honey off and I run this through the extractor, that frame will be going in the garbage. So um, I'll dip that back down in there. I'll give them uh, something to work on here. Nice fresh sheet of foundation. And then we'll smoke the bees off the rim and throw this super on. Now this bee, this box here ain't fully packed with bees. I mean, they've got drawn comb across the board here. But, you know, we got, where we're counting brood frames, we got, you know, one, two, three, four, maybe five. I don't know, maybe even six brood frames down here. I don't know. They're, you know, when all that hatches out, this beat, this box is going to be packed. So I'm going to go ahead and get ahead of the game. And I'm going to throw this super on. Why not? We got it. It's here. And we're done. I'm going to take and scrape all this burr comb off. Just because... 
you know, they'll attach it to my frames and when you pull the lid off, it makes the frames pull up out of there and you take a chance on smushing bees. They do that real bad with those plastic frames. I like those plastic one piece frames. Mm -hmm. You can get them pre-waxed and uh, they're nice, I like them. The only thing I don't like about them is they like to glue your lid down to the, um, to the frames and when you pull that lid off, the frames come with it. It can make you a, a big mess. So I'm just gonna knock all that off. Then it's a new box. I'm gonna scrape all the propolis off they had on here. This, this, they were sealing all this right here. They were sealing this box or this lid to the to the old box. And get all that off so my lid sits down nice and flat. And um, we're done. Take this back up to the house. That's it. We'll go ahead and fill our hole back up. Check out these bees here. Yep. They'll be flying here this afternoon. When it warms up a little more and that dew gets off the ground, they'll be out. Let's check out this one, why not? We're here. This one here, actually, uh, a lady came out of Plant City, she about an hour drive for her. She was on the north side of Plant City. She had a ball of bees in the bed of her truck, and she said she'd come to me if I'd remove them. I didn't charge her nothing. I said, yeah, come on. And uh, sure enough, just a nice little basketball size uh, wad of bees. I put a box underneath her, a little cargo net on her truck where they were attached to. And they just, they walked right into the box, put the lid on it. It was a, I mean, five, ten minute job. Easy. I did put some syrup on these the other day. I think it only took them probably two days to drink that down. Let me get out from in front of y'all. See if they got any brew going yet. Little swarm of bees. They got some bees. There's your queen again. I'm not gonna take her. Right here. I'm not gonna take her off uh, from over the box. Today ain't my day. <laughs> yep, got some larvae in there and eggs. <coughs> <coughs> Man, smoke. Yep. Just keep feeding these guys, let them bring in that nectar and keep feed on them and they'll grow. They'll fill it out and we'll put them in a big box. This is some comb they've made since they've been put in here. And they have eggs all in the cells there. So they're going. We'll keep an eye on them. That's all I need to see with them. Queen's in there, she's healthy. Got eggs and young larvae in the cells. That's all you need to see. I'll put some more feet on them guys to help them out some. And, um, and uh that'll be it so uh thank y'all for watching and subscribe and like um i want to build this channel up and see what we can do i enjoy doing it and like i said i want to keep it i want to keep it real you know if i mess up you're gonna see it that's how i want this channel to be
So I'm not perfect. I don't know everything, but I'll show you what I do know. So again, thanks for watching. Happy Easter. See ya.